Today we're going to be doing a colour change reaction and it's going to involve uh, solids going into liquids, all getting mixed together and by the addition of a dye we'll be able to see the reaction changing colour. So this reaction actually has a name, it's called Traffic Lights. I actually do this um, at local primary schools when I go out and visit them and show them this reaction and hopefully um, you'll be as wowed with this as the kids are. So what we've got here is some hot water and cold water. That's it. That's all we've got in there at the moment. And we're going to add glucose, a type of sugar, into this one. And sodium hydroxide is going into this. So we give that a stir. You can see there it clouds up and you've got all the sugar dissolving in the water. That's going to need a stir as well. So you've got larger particles of sodium hydroxide this time and the water's cold so it's going to take longer for it to actually dissolve in the water. Okay so we've got our sodium hydroxide, we've got our glucose solution. Both solutions are colourless, they're clear, quite dull. So with the addition of this dye we'll be able to see a colour change reaction and if you look at it in this container it's, a very, it's really dark, it almost looks black but once we add it to this you'll actually see what colour it is. So in it goes You can see a really nice swirling effect. OK, we're going to make sure it's fully dissolved in the glucose solution. So really want to make sure that indigo carmine, the glucose and the water are all mixed together. So we've got our blue solution here. We've got our colourless solution in here. We'll combine the two and you can watch what happens. So first of all, it starts out blue. We pour this in and it instantly goes green. So we've got a nice green colour which won't stick around for long. Once it goes green, um, it's happy like that, but then it enters a transitional state of red. So you've got this red colour here, and then finally it goes to a nice orange. And then following that will be an amber. And we'll leave it to go to completion, and its final colour change will be to yellow. You, actually, look, you can actually see some of it isn't dissolved, and you can see where the colour's coming up from the bottom. That's really cool. OK, so this is actually a reversible reaction. So what we need to do is, all right, all the uh, component ingredients are already suspended in the water. What we need to add to this is oxygen from the air. So we're going to tip this into here, and you can see what happens. Yellow in my hand, and as it goes in, it's red. And the reason why it's doing that, and actually you can see the bubbles there have a slight green tinge, is because we're adding oxygen into the mix. Well, Neil's had a very good idea, actually. So given that we need oxygen to turn this reaction around, uh, he's got a, just so happens he has a cylinder of pure oxygen next to us. So we're going to bubble some of this into that and see what happens. OK, let's see what happens. Oh, excellent. It's really nice doing it this way because rather than the whole mixture being shaken up in one go. Mm. You can see there at the start where some of it was still yellow and the rest of it was red where the oxygen was coming into direct contact with the liquid. Okay. So when you dispose of it, 